What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you something that's a little bit more personal to me. Now I know this topic, you might think it's opinionated, but it's not. Everything that I present to you guys, I want it to be scientifically proven, which is why I have a case study today. Now this case study comes from Australia. I'm going to show you guys how smoking is responsible for increasing the chances of suffering anxiety as well as panic attacks. So let's get started. As you can see here, I will read this together. A study analyzing data from the United States National Comorbidity Survey shows that respondents who are dependent on cannabis were over two times more likely to have a lifetime diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder or to have had panic disorder. Additionally, those with a lifetime cannabis dependence diagnosis who were currently using cannabis were over twice as likely to have a current anxiety disorder than those who had never been dependent on cannabis. Now, I know a lot of people, they take cannabis so that they're able to alleviate their anxiety, but after prolonged use, it starts to work against you. If you're not able to do it in moderation, like maybe just once a week, and you do become dependent like some of those who are on this channel, including myself, which is why I'm making these videos to go on this journey and show you why you should quit, chances are that they're going to be suffering from more anxiety attacks than those who weren't smoking. Why does this happen? I can't really explain it. I've suffered from it myself. It's the worst feeling that you can possibly get. When I first started smoking, the first three, four years, I never had any type of anxiety disorder. In the past as well, when I was younger than 20, I didn't really smoke and then I started smoking at 20. Maybe 23, 24 is when I started to suffer from anxiety and it's a horrible feeling. The way that I can describe it to you, it's almost like you're suffocating and you can't concentrate on what you're trying to do. You have to start breathing a lot and you walk around the room pacing back and forth, hoping that that feeling will start to calm down. For me, it started to happen when I was grinding with my fingers. I would sit there grinding and grinding and I would want the task to be over with, but I always like to pick out all the leaves, take out all the stems, break open the buds, so that I would increase the surface area and I could use less bud and have the bowl filled up. I, I got real scientific about how I smoked. I know a lot of people aren't like that and people hated when I would grind, but I always used my fingers until I started to get really bad anxiety disorder. I would sit there grinding and all of a sudden I'd feel like it's claustrophobia. I'm suddenly, my, oh my heart is racing faster. I'm breathing in because I feel like I'm not getting any oxygen. I have to stop what I'm doing, get up, and pace the room walking back and forth. This is a horrible feeling. It's literally the worst feeling that I've ever had in my entire life. I sympathize for anybody who suffers from anxiety disorder because when I was smoking, oh my gosh, it was not something that is pleasant. It is a horrible feeling. I remember towards the end of my smoking career on that eighth year, this is probably like nine months ago, 10 months ago. I was inside of a car. It's one of those Escalades. And on the back row, there's these really small seats and they had laid down the seats beside me and put a big box. So I sat in this small chair, big box to the left of me, people in the front and on the right of me is the window. And I was so shrunk in that I started to have claustrophobia. I have never had claustrophobia before. That's not something that would bother me sitting in that small space. But because I was smoking, I can assure you, I literally had to tell them, I cannot sit here, I suffer from claustrophobia, I need to move in the front if someone will please change me seats. Now before, when I wasn't smoking, I never had any type of anxiety, any type of claustrophobia. I wanna make that very clear, so that you can understand that I'm trying to say, anxiety and panic attacks can be caused by prolonged use of cannabis, which is why I presented the case study here today. So if you're suffering from anxiety, or you're suffering from panic attacks and you continue smoking, thinking that it's helping you, I can assure you that it's working against you. Since I have quit, I have not had a single panic attack. I have not had that anxiety come back at all whatsoever. So that's what started this investigation. I started to look into, well, maybe cannabis does cause anxiety. And what I found out is that the results do show a very positive correlation between those who do smoke and those who don't smoke. So I present this video today strictly as scientific research based off of my personal opinion as well. So it's a combination of the both. You can hear from Australia's uh, government research, which is based off of analysis of the United States, as well as my personal opinion, giving back to you guys to say, I had anxiety while I was smoking. That anxiety, it went away when I quit. I suffered panic attacks as well. And I think the, the panic attacks 
happens when you smoke and your fight or flight response activates and it's not supposed to because you're not doing anything wrong. One time for me, I know it was heart palpitations because my heart would speed up and then it would stop. But because it was stopping, I started to have huge amounts of adrenaline. And I was in front of a group of people. I stood up and I said, I think I'm dying. And I really thought that I was dying. It was really horrifying experience because I was very scared. It was not fun. I said, well, this is it. Chest pains, that's definitely not right. And I do not feel a pulse right now. And then it would turn back on and turn back off. This is an example of a panic attack that's uh, stimulated by heart palpitations from smoking. So if you're somebody who's currently suffering from anxiety, just give it up. Just stop smoking. My life is so much better, like night and day difference now since I've quit smoking, which is why I make these videos. I don't get many views, the channel's not very big, thousand subscribers in terms of YouTube is absolutely nothing. I make no monetary gain, but I continue making these videos for you guys so you can have more insight to something that, well, most people don't want to talk about because the general consensus is that herb makes you happy and peace out and everything's great. That's true for those that are able to do it in moderation. Myself personally, I can't. I can moderate alcohol and any other substance. I don't want any other, uh, other substance. I want to be able to talk right and not stutter like how I did right there. It's something that I've been suffering from which stemmed from smoking. I'm still coughing up black, black stuff on a daily basis and I can only think if my lungs are still coughing up black stuff, I can't imagine how much my brain's needing to repair, but it's improving. And how do I know? Because I'm not having anxiety attacks. I'm not suffering heart palpitations. I'm a lot more fluent in this video than I was in a video two weeks ago. And this is because I'm improving. I'm getting back to where I once was. It's gonna take many months, years to recover, but I fully expect that in time, I will go back to normal. And if you're suffering from something, chances are if you're not able to moderate weed, prolonged use, you're only making whatever you have a lot worse. Guys, I hope this video helped you. If it has, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really appreciate having every one of you in this channel. It means a lot to me. Take care and have a great Monday.